morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, dear listeners and viewers from across the world. Thank you for your support and thank you for always being there. Please kindly subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Hit the bell icon as well so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And able to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. Prophet Odumeji, the celebrity prophet, whose name is Chukwemeka Ohanemere, says that the Biafra agitator and leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekano, will be freed by December 2021. The cleric gave the prophecy during a, pray a recorded prayer session. In attendance were Namdekano's lawyer, Ifani Ejiofo, and others. Odumeji said, Lord, your son, Namdekano, is coming out this December in the name of Jesus. There is nothing you said that will never come to pass. Lord, we have started this battle with your name, and we shall overcome with your name. Your son, Ejiofo, in the front of the battle, be with him always. Give them strength. Give them wisdom. This is a battle of wisdom, and the wisdom comes from you. In the presence of the judge, everything that comes out of his mouth, that is a Jehovah's mouth, shall be wisdom. Victory shall be given to us. Odumeji, the celebrity prophet, prayed for Ifanye Jehovah Namdekano's lead counsel. Odumeje is the general overseer of the Mountain of the Holy Ghost Intervention and Deliverance Ministry, headquarters in Anambra. Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is facing treason, treason charges for actions against the state. Namdekano was abducted, intercepted and abducted outside Nigeria in Kenya and repatriated to Nigeria on June the 27th after so many years of being on the run. Namdekano's trial at the Federal High Court in Abuja is slated to resume in October. He is presently being detained at a Department of State Services facility in Abuja. Justice Binta Nyako had turned down his legal team's application for transfer to the Kuje prison as the DSS believed that Namdekano's supporters would launch an attack on the correctional center to free him. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, meanwhile, in another story, one David Elijah, a self-styled prophet who pastors at Glorious Mount of Possibility Church, Yaba, in Lagos, has said that he sees negotiation ongoing between the federal government and the Nigerian separatist leaders Namdekano and Sunday Ibuho. While Namdekano is in the Department of State Services custody in Abuja, but Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Ibuho, who was declared wanted in Nigeria, is being held by the law enforcement agents in Benin Republic. In a video that was published on Wednesday on Possibility TV, Elijah claimed the bargain, although happening, is not going to be a sellout. He said, I see a secret bargain, and the Lord took me away, and I see myself in a place of sale, and I entered the custody. I begin to ask what is happening, and the Lord said, this is what is called secret bargain. Elijah said, Every bargain that will not favor the people is not accepted already. I see a rejection of bargain, he continued. In the realm of the spirit, I see a bargain going on. I see a bargain between Mazi Namdekano. I see a bargain between Sunday Igbuho. I am seeing a bargain between other people that are called stakeholders. But this bargain is not going to be a sellout. A sellout cannot go on. 
because it has to be a time for things to be done aright. Because in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a lot of meetings, bargains, and I'm seeing disagreements. God said it is time for the right thing to be done all over the place because the thing must be gotten right this time around. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular um, news story as it were? Now, this is what Nam Kano has said. Sorry, this is what um, um, Prophet Odumeji has said concerning Nam Kano that he would be released in December. Now, if he will be released in December, coupled with what this prophet has said, that there is a bargain going on, a secret bargain going on, does it in any way suggest that, you know, there is hope that Nam Kano will be released in December or before December? Or do you think that there is no possibility of Nam Kano, you know, being released before then? Could there be anything that could, you know, change the course of the whole thing? Meanwhile, if I had for the lead counsel to Nam Kano had stated that, you know, there is cause to celebrate or there will be cause to celebrate very soon as he is optimistic that Nam Kano will be released soon. Well, it is what it is. Nobody has a, um, a categorical statement. The only person who could change the course of things is God and uh, the president of the country, uh, the president, uh, Muhammad Buhari. But it remains to be seen how things might eventually turn and if things will turn. You get the point now. So these are conditional issues. Could anything, could situation of things turn in the favor of Nam Kano and the IPOP family? Well, it remains to be seen. Don't forget that the DSS have been avoiding Nam Kano's trial. Meanwhile, they brought him back into the country to face trial. But now the DSS are playing games with him. They don't want him to attend court trials so they can, you know, um, prolong his um, detention, his being in custody. I think that is the game that they are playing. I don't know. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but that is what I think. So, but regardless, regardless of that, you know, it is to a very large extent believed that the Nigerian government does not want Nam Kano out of custody so that he does not continue to run IPOP and he does not continue to, you know, um, push for the uh, realization of Biafra. Well, guys, drop by the comment section. Let's see, hear what your thoughts are. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Please endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.